Ashley Jensen was so privileged to be starring in the new series of Shetland that she was left speechless the first time she arrived on the island to start filming. The Hollywood star has taken over from fellow Scott Douglas Henschel and will well and truly have the reins of the hugely popular BBC show when the latest series hits screens next month, after a D.I. Jimmy Perez bowed out following seven seasons. We've previously reported that the award-winning detective drama is going in a very different direction as the ugly Betty favorite takes over the lead role and a fresh new chapter starts for the production. Ashley, 53, from Annan in Dumfries and Galloway, will be playing a new detective named D.I. Ruth Calder, a native Shetlander who returns to the Isles after 20 years working for the Met in London. Now she's been opening up on why her latest gig is one of the best of her career, and why she was so overwhelmed to be filming in her homeland after years living across the pond. Ashley said, Shetland is one of those places that I never, ever thought I would go or get a chance to work there. It was such a privilege to be there and rendered me speechless when I stepped off that wee plane the first time. There were Shetland ponies and puffins, it's got its own identity which is quite exhilarating actually. She added, I feel that Shetland is as much a character as the drama itself. And then there's the weather. One minute we had this horizontal rain and the next, a heat -a wave and it was like the tropics and everyone was going wild swimming. I felt like I was on my holidays. There's this sort of idea that when we're British we have to go far afield to get away. After living in America for years, I've got this pull to visit Scotland more, so when Shetland came up I couldn't resist. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages. The eighth series will be a six-part tale as Met Detective Ruth returns to the Shetland Isles on the trail of a vulnerable witness, and shall be teaming up with Tosh, played by returning star Alison O'Donnell, as the pair team up on a case that will test their fragile, new partnership. Walking into an established cast to start her new job could have been a daunting experience for the former extras star, despite her long-running career but she revealed she was made to feel most at home on set. She said, everyone from the cast and crew were very welcoming from the start and genuinely excited to be back, as much as I was delighted to be there, playing this wonderful complex, complicated and yet confident character. Allison and I got on immediately and I hope that chemistry translates on screen. The introduction of Ruth Calder creates a different energy for the original cast members and so we see new and different aspects of their characters, as we get to know D.I. Calder herself. After 30 years away, Ashley's character D.I. Calder heads back home on the trail of Ellen Quinn, Maisie Norma Seaton, the scared witness to a London gangland murder. In Lerwick, Tosh will be seen pausing her investigation into a string of sinister animal deaths to help Calder find Ellen before it's too late. Ellen's family are the influential and notorious Spains, led by dominant matriarch, Grace, Phyllis Logan. Calder and Tosh discover her mother Stella, Don Steele, and father Kieran, Barry O'Connor haven't seen Ellen since she left for London six months ago and are surprised to hear that she's back in Shetland. Matters are made worse when armed hitmen, the experienced Howl, Don Gillet, and volatile Novak, Arnafeter Avicius, arrive on the Isles on a mission to silence Ellen. Ashley may be a seasoned Hollywood veteran these days, but she still found time to heap praise on her stellar fellow cast members as she added, These are all people that I've watched on the television for years and always admired. In fact, I met Phyllis many moons ago because she played my mom in Nativity. 
she's just such a legend and what a character Grace Bain is. She plays these strong, steely parts and yet she's incredibly warm and funny. Just to be up close and personal to all these people and having a laugh with them was great. It really was wonderful. It was an incredibly unified cast I have to say. People here actors wittering on oh we all got on so well, we were one big happy family but we absolutely, genuinely did. Sometimes, the more serious the job, the more you laugh. Life's too short not to have a laugh. To me, that's part of the joy of what we do. On top of the twists and turns of the case, Calder is faced with figures from her past including her ex-boyfriend Gellinus, Jamie Sives, and estranged younger brother Alan, Stephen Miller, now the minister of their late father's old Kirk. However, these siblings have starkly different views of their shared childhood. It's clear from the off, Calder has no love for Tasha's adopted home and their journey into the dark recesses of Shetland's past and present will test their partnership to the limit. But off-screen, Ashley's love for the island and the script for Shetland made her experience on the BBC show rather an easy ride from the get-go. She said, I loved it actually but to be honest as soon as I read the first scripts I was like I'm in. The writer, Paul Logue, has given everybody a rounded character even down to the hitman, Howell, Don Gillet, and Novak, Arnafeter Avasius. Just the nuance and the detail of every character is amazing. She added, being in Shetland during a summer heatwave wearing layers of cashmere will certainly stay with me forever that's for sure. Beyond that, the beaches and the sea were incredible but one of the things that delighted me on a daily basis were the sheep, who knew there are so many different types. Inspired by Anne Cleve's Shetland novels, Shetland is a silver print pictures production for the BBC. Shetland Series 8 comes to BBC One and BBC iPlayer on Wednesday, November 1, 2023. Series 1 to 7 are available to stream on iPlayer.